the distance equation. The distance equation is distance equals rate times time, where d is distance, r is rate, t is time. Be careful when you use this equation to have all your times and rates either in all hours or all minutes or whatever time unit you're using. Example one, Susie is running a marathon. She ran the marathon in four hours, 52 minutes. So that's her time, T. A marathon is 26.2 miles. So that's D, distance. <clears throat> How fast did she run in miles per hour rounded to two decimal places? So what are they asking us for? How fast? That's your rate. We want to know the rate. So now I have all my pieces. I just have to put them together in my equation. Rate times time equals distance. The rate is my unknown. I do not know that. My time is 4 hours 52 minutes. Now let's do a little work with this. 4 hours. You can't say 4.52. That's not the same. 4 hours, 52 minutes. Well, I want a fraction of an hour. So I'll say 52 over 60. 4 and 52 sixtieths of time equals my distance, 26.2. Now let's go back and deal with this 4 and 52 sixtieths. I'm going to change 52 sixtieths into a decimal by dividing it on my calculator. 52 divided by 60. I get 0.86 repeating. So this is 4.86 repeating. Now I can solve for r. Divide both sides by 4.86 repeating. So on my calculator, 26.2 divided by 4.86 repeating, I get 5.38. And since I'm working in miles and hours, that rate will be in miles per hour. Next problem. Timmy took a trip to the cities. It is a 137-mile trip. So that's his distance. If he averages 64 miles per hour on the trip, that's his rate, how long will it take him? How long? That's asking me what's the time. So I'm going to be looking for the time. Now write your equation. Let's talk a little bit about the setup. Notice how I name each piece of my problem with the variable that it goes with. Also notice that I always write out the equation. Helps me to keep things organized. Now I'll sub in. I know that the rate is 64. I don't know the time. The distance is 137 miles. Now I can solve for t by undoing what's been done to the t. And I get about 2.14 hours. Notice 0.14 does not match up with 14 minutes. If I wanted to change 0.14 hours into minutes, I would take 0.14 times 60. It gives me about 8.4 minutes. So this is 2 hours and a little over 8 minutes. Two joggers start at the same time from opposite ends of an eight-mile jogging trail and begin running towards each other. One jogger is running at a rate of five miles an hour. The other jogger is running at a rate of seven miles an hour. How long in minutes after they start will the two joggers meet? Well, let's look at their individual rate times time equals distance, okay? The first jogger had a rate of five miles an hour. And let's let the time 
that it takes them to run this eight miles together be T. So they'll both run for T minutes. So the first jogger will have a formula 5t equals d, and the second jogger will have a formula 7t equals d. Well, we know that if we add their two distances together, 5t and 7t, we should get 8 miles. So we can make an equation out of that. 5t, the distance the first jogger goes, plus 7t, the distance that the second jogger goes, should equal 8 the total distance they cover. So their time equals two-thirds. Since our rate was in miles per hour, this two-thirds is going to be hours. If we wanted minutes, well, we do want minutes, we can take two-thirds of an hour times 60 minutes, and you'll get 40 minutes. They will meet after 40 minutes.